This is a textbook bench cut. And by a bench cut, you've got a hillside like this. And you're going to remove the dirt to make a tread. So you're not piling up dirt to make your surface. You're, you're essentially shaping the trail out of the hillside. Before I got here, the hill kind of went like this. So that's a bit off, too off camber to ride a bike on. So we removed all of this all the way to the edge of where the trail is going to be. That would be a full bench cut. Is that the, the trail exists underneath the dirt you haven't moved yet. And then afterwards you're going to have a nice bench. If you're looking at it at a like, side angle. What you want to do is you want the tread to be pitched to the outslope down towards the hill. If it is pitched inward, then this will trench out and it will cause a lot of erosion and a lot of headache. Also, if the back slope, which is this section here, if it doesn't fade into your tread nicely, same thing, water is going to fall straight into this part and erode this. So you want to get this nice and fade it in so that the water keeps coming off in a nice gentle fashion. But yeah, this is this is what you want when you do a full bench. Okay, so this is a, what I would call a partial bench because the slope of the hill is already pretty mellow. And so in order to make the tread that we wanted, all we had to do was dig about half, half of the tread's width into the, the upslope side of the, where the trail is going to be. So I played this part, but I'll go over here and show you what we did. There you have it. So that's what I would call partial bench because I didn't have to cut the full tread out of the hillside. I could use what was already here for half of it. The most important thing to remember when you do it in this scenario when you dig this out, make sure you clear all the extra stuff off the outslope. You don't want to create a berm edge to prevent the water from going. So just nick out this thing to here, and then you've got a nice, perfect tread. I'm going to take some of this fallen stuff. I'm going to make a crib wall starting about here to this base of this thing. I'm going to cut this dead one down, then I'll make a crib crib wall along this, kick a lot of this dirt down. There's a big mound right here I can steal dirt from, push it here, and then widen this out and get around this thing because you'll slip coming up.
So by lining this with these, this hard wood, we were able to kind of dig into it and then let the wood catch the thing without having to dig down the bottom. So like, this is right where we wanted the trail to be. But if I did a full bench cut, I would have had to, it either would have been really too tight, or I would have had to cut all this down lower and then it would have defeated the purpose. So we just use this to throw the excess in there and fill it. And then I just kept skimming the top and dragging the dirt down over the roots we had here. So now you don't bump and slip over that. You just cruise over it. In context, you come through here. Full bench is ideal since you're cutting into the hill, your tread is pretty much rideable instantly. If you do a partial bench cut, you'll have loose stuff this side and it could be really soft and it, it is going to crumble. It's going to take a lot more time to pack it. It's going to take a lot more dirt. So it actually will end up making the trail quite tight and skinny. And then the outside edge over here is going to be soft and your front tire gets in there and poof, takes off, you'll crash. So this is the best thing to do for longevity. You won't have to come back and maintain as much. And it's going to be rideable right, right away, essentially.